Since Israeli-born actress Gal Gadot blew everyone away with her appearance in Wonder Woman in 2017, this hero for modern women has been on everyone's radar. But did you know there's actually a string of Wonder Woman before Gadot got her breakout role? In this video, we dig deep into the archives of who played Wonder Woman. Ellie Wood Walker and Linda Harrison – Joint Honors while it's true that Ellie Wood Walker and Linda Harrison were jointly, technically the first actresses to play Wonder Woman, there's a bit of a strange story behind their claim to fame. The year is 1967, and producer William Dozier has an idea for a new sitcom. And if you didn't know already, he's the man behind the iconic Adam West Batman series of the 60s. Anyway, he committed this idea to film the same year, screening a five-minute pilot for a proposed TV show called Who's Afraid of Diana Prince? The plot of the film centered around the comedic interactions between the young, beautiful, but awkward Diana Prince, played by Ellie Wood Walker, and her difficult mother. Trying to take power back in the relationship, Diana dons a Wonder Woman costume, appearing as another, better version of herself, played by Linda Harrison. Jane Webb Though that first live-action screening of Wonder Woman didn't get off the ground, the next best thing came along in the early 70s, the first animated version of our favorite comic heroine. A cartoon Wonder Woman featured in the Saturday morning kids show The Brady Kids, which ran from 1972 to 73. This Wonder Woman, voiced by Jane Webb, appeared in only an episode called It's All Greek to Me. Our caped hero is transported back to the past alongside the Brady children, where they have to compete with ancient Grecian athletes. Webb was a voiceover over Wonder Woman at the time. She appeared on variety shows like the Tom Mix Ralston Straight Shooters, voiced a Star Trek alien in the sci-fi franchise's animated series, and was the voice of both Ginger and Marianne in the Gilligan's Island spin-off cartoon The New Adventures of Gilligan. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. And stick around for more of your favorite Wonder Women. Shannon Farnan if you were a kid in the 70s and 80s, there's no way you weren't watching DC Comics Super Friends. It was basically a kid-friendly version of the Justice League. And guess who appeared in that cartoon? Wonder Woman. She wasn't in every episode, but between 1973 and 84, she was voiced by Hanna-Barbera voiceover staple Shannon Farnan. Farnan's an actress and voice actor hailing from Canada. She's also starred in a host of memorable TV commercials. She's a regular guest at comic conventions around the world and is happy to engage with fans. She's admitted to being super proud of her role as Wonder Woman, once saying she grew up with the comic books and was thrilled to become a strong feminine role model for young girls. Kathy Lee Crosby Given Wonder Woman's famous athletic prowess, it's not too far-fetched that one of the early iterations of this heroine was played by a former professional tennis player. Kathy Lee Crosby retired from tennis in 1974 and decided her passion was in acting. She'd already had one successful film role in The Laughing Policeman, a feature by director Walter Matthau. Not long after, she was asked to play Wonder Woman in a TV movie by the same name. Word on the street is it's still available on DVD. Weirdly, though, Warner Brothers was running the show and looking to create more of a James Bond-style feature than a classic superhero saga. So Crosby's Wonder Woman didn't have any magical weapons or battle-hardened athleticism fans had come to expect. And she was blonde, not brunette. Importantly, though, she was still dedicated to righting the wrongs of the world. Linda Carter Linda Carter is the most famous Wonder Woman actress of all time. She first appeared in this iconic TV role in 1975. According to Carter, the best thing about getting to play Wonder Woman on TV for all those years was the fact that she wasn't a guy. And in an entertainment industry dominated by male role models, that meant a lot to her and her many female fans. Connie Caulfield for a few episodes of the 1984 DC Comics cartoon hit Super Friends The Legendary Super Powers Show, Wonder Woman was voiced by Connie Caulfield instead of Shannon Farnan, who played the heroine for 10 years. It's never been clear why Farnan stepped away from the role for those episodes, nor why Connie Caulfield never stuck around. She apparently landed the role, beating out 300 actresses, because the casting team liked the little crinkle in her voice. But it wasn't to be, as the part was handed on again to B.J. Ward not long after. Caulfield went on to become a voiceover and commercial acting teacher and a theatrical and literary agent. B.J. Ward Aside from taking over Connie Caulfield as the voice of Wonder Woman and Super Friends, B.J. Ward also voiced the character in one episode of the 1988 animated series Superman. The episode was called Superman and Wonder Woman vs. the Sorceress of Time. B.J. Ward became a staple of cartoon voice acting, lending her talent to popular shows like G.I. Joe, some of the animated Scooby-Doo movies, and she even voiced Betty Rubble in the 1980s and into the 2000s. More recently, she's moved into video game character voicing, and oddly, she's appeared in a solo theater production called Stand Up Opera. 
Megan Gale, sort of. Some say there's a curse surrounding those who play Wonder Woman, given how many actresses only get half a shot at the role. And fate played its wicked hand again for Aussie model and actress Megan Gale. In the late 2000s, Gale was cast as Wonder Woman in what was shaping up to be a memorable DC Comics film, Justice League Mortal. DJ Katrona was also cast as Superman and the now controversial Army Hammer as Batman. And Mad Max director George Miller headed the whole thing. You may wonder why we even include this blip in Wonder Woman's film and TV story here, since many fans dismiss Gale's part in it. But it turns out that casting images with actors in full costume were released before the production was canceled, meaning we know exactly what the possible Gale Wonder Woman would have looked like. Adrian Palicki in 2011, you would have been forgiven for thinking Wonder Woman might once again grace our TV screens. A Wonder Woman series produced by David E. Kelly of Doogie Howser, M.D. and Ally McBeal fame was in the works. He cast American actress Adrian Palicki in the role of the iconic heroine. The pilot was presented to NBC, but they passed. Gal Gadot since the 2016 release of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Wonder Woman has been played by Gal Gadot. And after Linda Carter, she's probably the actress who best captures the sense of adventure, bravery, good looks, and general badassery the character exudes. A year later in 2017, she took up the role again in the genre-breaking Wonder Woman and controversial Justice League, followed by Wonder Woman 1984 in 2020. With more films in the works for this megastar actress, it looks like Gadot is here to stay. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite Wonder Woman? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.